I have watched her inject herself with insulin since she was seven years old. Wow. I get She has type 1 diabetes, and she's my hero, and so do you. Mm -hmm. And you talk about those early years and how you wanted to run away and you wanted to hide. How did you learn to live past type 1 diabetes? Can I show you something? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Where's my little stickum? Here. Yeah. That's me when I was diagnosed. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I was so scared of the needle that I ran out of the hospital underneath a car so they wouldn't catch me. Mm -hmm. Under the car? Yes, under the car. Under the car. <laughs> under a car. It took about six people to come out, and somebody grabbed my leg and dragged me out, and then six of them had to hold me down to put that needle into my arm. Uh -huh. Now, I'm assuming that the needles were a little bit better than when I was a kid, <laughs> when your sister grew up. That thing was enormous yeah. uh, back then. But at any rate, how did I find the courage? through the unlikely source of comic books. Yep. I knew that there were human, that there were people, comic books, yeah. people, who had super hidden superpowers. And I imagined myself as Supergirl. And that gave me the courage to give myself my shot. And through...